And we'll tell you the four C's of winter car care and how you could save another C, cash. Your bottom line starts right now. sleet, rain, hail, uh, winter weather, but it causes all sorts of issues for your car. And the last thing you want to do is get stuck on the side of the road in any of these conditions. So let's keep car running smoothly during the winter months. Automotive analyst Lauren Fix is the author of Lauren Car. You, there are four C's. Check. Well, the first thing you want to do is check your tire pressure. This is very sure gauge. Remember these stick gauges? The oh, yeah. Digital one. Really, you want to know what the correct tire pressure is, and you get that number inside your driver's door. You check it once a month, and you can top it off. They have little kits you can buy. Really, really smart. And the other thing is then pop the hood. Now, you don't have to be an expert, just like a doctor might show you an x-ray if you break your arm. Right. This is something you can see visually. It's very easy to tell that this belt needs to be replaced. That belt needs to be right. changed. And, or this hose is damaged. Right. And if you're still in doubt and you say, well, I don't really know, that's okay. Look in your owner's manual. If you don't have one, the Car Care Council offers a free guide in English, Spanish, and in French. Okay. But the secret is, once you've downloaded or get one in your hands, get an ASE certified technician to do the work. You don't want just somebody to do it, it yourself because you want to make the sure it's done right. The next C is change. Uh, change. That means things like this. Your Snow wiper. tires and wiper blades. You want winter wiper blades or you can use a flat blade. This flat blade will actually be used year round. And they're about $10 a piece, so really good investment. And also headlights. They need to be replaced every other year, whether you have those bright white xenon right. lights or the old halogen lights. They're really reasonably priced and it really makes a lot of sense. And then the fluids. There are eight fluids in a car. Eight fluids in a car, and right. this one, this is an example of what happens when you don't take care of that. Right. This is someone who failed to repair, the, replace the coolant, or even check the coolant, and this is a water pump, and the vehicle will not run if it doesn't work properly, and it actually started rotting the engine from the inside out. So that's why synthetic oil and changing that coolant are really, really important parts of keeping your engine running properly. The third C is carry. Talk carry. to me about what you need to carry. An emergency kit, very important, with jumper cables or a self-enclosed battery jumper, flashlight extra hats and gloves and, and boots, things you need. Plus, instead of a flare, look for an LED light source. It's a smarter choice. It's reusable. It's magnetic. You're stuck on the side of the road, just pop it up on the roof, turn on the light, and people will know you're there, and a tow truck can find you as well. Nice. And the final C is clean. Clean. Very important to clean your headlights. If you've got an older vehicle, maybe five, six years old, you'll start noticing that the plastic on the headlights gets smoky. You need to clean the headlights. You can do this yourself. It takes about 20 minutes to a half hour. And a wax coat will not just protect your investment, but the snow will come off the car easier. But if you do all your basic maintenance, the Car Care Council figured you can save up to $1,200 a year if you do all the basic maintenance instead of waiting for that problem to be something broken. See that, folks? We just That's saved you $1,200. Lauren Fix just put $1,200 back in your pocket. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Lauren Fix. Thank you.